Dennis Moore, 3rd District of Kansas. I was born in the state of Kansas and grew up in Kansas and uh, I, I think I know Kansas pretty well and I, I love it. It's a great place to, to be from, a great place to live. When I heard a story on NPR about our troops in Afghanistan and Iraq and they said they're there for, for about uh, six months, the Department of Defense brings them back for two weeks, what they call R&R, &R, rest and recuperation with their family, then they go back and they finish their, their year. The next part of the story I heard, I couldn't believe. They said the Department of Defense is bringing them back to the East Coast, putting them down in Baltimore, Atlanta, and they're told from here, you pay your own way home, and by the way, be back in two weeks, and we can get you back to Iraq. I didn't believe it, and I had my staff check, and it was true. I filed a bill about two weeks later to require the Department of Defense to pay the domestic travel. And every time I file a new bill, I do what's called a Dear Colleague Letter. And within 10 days, two weeks, I had 138 co-sponsors, Republicans and Democrats, signed on this bill. And I wrote a note across the top of my Dear Colleague Letter in blue pen. It said, Dear Mr. President, I know you care about our troops. Please make this happen in this morning. Stuck in my pocket, we went over to the White House Christmas party, and I saw a guy named Don Rumsfeld. And I walked over to him, and I said, Mr. Secretary, I'm Dennis Moore, and talked for a minute. And I reached in my pocket and handed him this letter, and he said, What is this? And I told him, he said, I said, I, I would really appreciate it if you could help me get this done for our troops. And he said, let me see what I can do and I'll get back with you. He never called me back, never wrote me back, but two weeks after I talked to him, he incorporated my bill into the Defense Department budget retroactive September 1101, just like I'd written, it's now law. And that really felt good. And I, I had two, in fact, back home, two uh, members of the Army come up to me and thank me for doing the bill. And they said, you know, I didn't even come back from Iraq because I knew I didn't have the money to get home. This was before my bill became law. And they stayed in Iraq, and that's just horrible that we would do something like that to our people. John Lewis is uh, from Georgia, a member from Georgia. And John Lewis, is, frankly, is one of my heroes. And he invited uh, a group of us, I think it was my first year in Congress, to go down to Alabama, to Selma, Alabama. And he had marched across the bridge with Dr. Martin Luther King back when that happened. And he was beaten, John was, by white police officers uh, at, at when they were going in this march. And it was a bipartisan group, Republicans and Democrats, about I guess, six or eight of us went down there. We met uh, Coretta Scott King while we were there. We marched across the bridge with John Lewis, and that's one of the greatest memories I have. I mean, this has been really a remarkable uh, opportunity. I've seen some great things happen here. I'm just proud of, proud of my service here, and I'm proud of our country, really.